two-factor authentication, also known as two-step verification, makes it a lot harder for someone unauthorized to log into your account. Here's how to set it up in MailerLite. Go to the top right drop-down menu and click My Profile. Now scroll down until you, until you see two-factor authentication and click On. Now go to the Android or iPhone page of the, of the Google Authenticator app. In my case, it's Android. Make sure it's installed. And go back to the screen. Then open the app on your phone. Click Begin. You'll have to allow the camera to use the app. And then click Scan a Barcode. Put your camera in front of the barcode. You see the QR code can go a little back and forth in case, if, in case it doesn't want to see the code. And there you go. You should now see six numbers and they will change every couple of seconds so you have to put them in pretty quickly here we go and click setup and there you go now you can also download recovery codes these are one-time use codes just in case you don't have your phone you lose your phone just in case you can also turn the two-factor authentication off just put in your MailerLite password and click Turn Off. And there you go. To turn it on again, click On. Now remember, you have to delete the account you have added, remove account, and start from the beginning. Scan the barcode. And there you go. Just put in the numbers again, and click Setup. And you're ready to go. Now, the next time you log in, you'll need to not only put in your account name and password, but also use your Google Authenticator to access your account. Use your, the code you see in the app. If you don't have enough time, there's a little timer there. Then you just wait till the timer finishes and starts again and put in the code. And there we go. So you not only need your password, but now you also need the authenticator and the code that comes up once you see the specific account you signed up with. Hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you want more, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever new things come out. You can find us on most social networks and if you click the link in the description, you can sign up to our newsletter. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next tutorial.